Thanks for inviting us in. It's 11 o'clock and tonight we are confirming the body discovered in a river in Puerto Rico is believed to be that missing Indiana teacher. Chase Howell has been following the story since Amanda Webster disappeared during a trip last week and tonight he's back to take a closer look at where this case stands and how Webster's family is helping close it. Scott, the Puerto Rico Institute of Forensic Sciences says a family member went down there today to help carry out the identification process of the body that was found. That's believed to be that of Amanda Webster. I'm told her brother went down there to give a DNA sample and to supply investigators with her dental records. Amanda Webster has now been missing for just over a week after traveling to Puerto Rico for vacation. The island's police department tells me her Airbnb host reported her disappearance after she never came back from a hike on Wednesday, October 11th. Her belongings in her rental car untouched. Just a few days later, a body believed to be Webster's was found floating down a river in Naguabo, the town where she was vacationing. She told us there was a lot more to show and tell her stories when she got back. So now we don't, we don't get the stories. We don't, you know, we were living a little bit through her adventures. The Puerto Rico Institute of Forensic Science telling me an autopsy of the body was conducted on Sunday. Her students and fellow teachers at Thompson Crossing Elementary still reeling from her disappearance and the news that the body found could be hers. In a statement from the district, it writes in part, Amanda was an amazing teacher who was a champion for every student she came in contact with. We are all better off for knowing Amanda. And like the coffee shop where Amanda's friend Heather Clark and I talked Thursday, she hopes there will be a silver lining out of all this. We're just trying to figure out what we can do to help others learn from her passing. Now, the Institute of Forensic Sciences says once they've compared the DNA and the dental records to the body, they'll be able to formally confirm the ID. Reporting in Beach Grove, I'm Chase Howell, 13 News.